welcome minakshi to the uh, again to the class to the second part so minakshi in the last class we did up to the uh, successful implementation of mbo right right so uh, benefits and limitation so this is the ending benefits and limitation so so benefits is basically that by objectives you can uh, you can uh, just uh, ensure the growth of the uh, company and first benefit is the benefit of subordinates subordinates is the uh, second benefit the benefit to the subordinates subordinates is the uh, your uh, juniors okay okay because they will know what to do what, Yes. Coordinates are juniors, and uh, seniors are the superiors, right? Yes. Okay. Continue, please. Hello. Okay. So, uh, benefits to subordinates uh, means uh, you will set a uh, objective to them. that they must achieve this during this time so they know what to do and how to do okay okay so benefits to subordinates in terms of what i mean i didn't get it uh benefits of subordinates because uh, uh, you don't have to give them every order they don't have to come to you to get the order because they will get a set objective and they will have the power to do whatever to get that objective fulfilled right okay so then benefits to superior so benefits to superior means when you set a objective your uh, benefits uh, your superior will know that you are working towards the objective and they they will see that how you are uh, going to achieve that objectives and they don't have to uh, uh, ask you again and again that what are you doing and how are you doing they will see the results and what you promised you uh, achieved it or not right just uh, when you join a company they will ask you that uh, what will you do so you will give them the objective that i will do this 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 i will fulfill this by this time so this is the objective you will set to them from your point so they will just see review that uh, it is done or not so they will be the review because they will not they you cannot set that objective to them okay you will set the objective to yourself which they will uh, they will authorize Sorry. they will authorize it that yes you can do this you can give me these results hmm because uh, the superiors why they hired you to do something so objective means what will you do for the company okay your work okay. and benefits for the organization is the first part i i have told you about the benefits of organization the first uh, benefit so uh, the i have i have, I have already uh, explained you benefits to the organization right right but some limitations some Some limitation means disadvantages. So disadvantages is like that. Uh, in terms of uh, joint objective or participatory objective, so uh, some objective you cannot uh, set up with your juniors, okay, or your uh, seniors to your seniors, okay, because. uh whether you set the objectives they will not be willing to talk with you because they will have some ego or some uh, ego problem okay mm -hmm. this is basically a personal problem and yes and bio is not effective at lowest level because you cannot set the objective applicable mostly into the low level like uh, it is only for managers basically a labor will not have some objective he will just have to follow the order of the 
your uh, seniors because he has no skill. He doesn't know must thing. For setting an objective, you must be have some skills, okay? As you have learned the skills of a professional manager, right? Technical skills. What are the right. uh, like uh, skill set levels? Like uh, technical skills, human skills, and administrative skills, right? I have told you. Mm, right. It is difficult to implement in a situation of sense. So, uh, if the uh, situation changes, like the role of the company changes, so you cannot implement it. Apka objective is sense ozaika. Apka o objective kam nahi karega. Your net objective will not work. So, you cannot have a fixed objective in terms if the company itself changes, goal itself changes, okay? Right. Hmm. So, uh, these are the three main problems. Or you can also uh, give your own example about things because this book was made like uh, three years or four years ago or five years ago. And uh, hmm. Management by objective is evaluating. So you don't think that you have to write only by this book. You have to think that uh, what are today's that objective is not working. Because nowadays, if you go after studying this uh, course for top companies, even if you go to like uh, American companies, they will ask you that at present scenario, what is the value of MPU? So you cannot just say what is written in this book. Because mm. maybe today new uh, new some problems with MBO arrows. So you just have to think about it. That today in the internet era, what will be the advantages and disadvantages of MBO? So that's why in masters, uh, basically, uh, as we have asked about books, so in higher uh, in 10 plus 2 or up to some hot level, degree level, I should prefer you to go to notes books. But in master level, you should just, <coughs> in terms of ignore, you can study itself. And if you follow the previous year question papers, you will get good marks. And from assignments also, like one or three uh, question comes in the exam. All right. And mark my word, this uh, this whole chapter is important. And the first and second, responsibilities of professional manager and parts of a professional manager. This whole chapter is a question. This three are the, uh, one of the important questions of MTTM1. All right. What are the tasks of a professional manager? Second question is what is the responsibilities of a professional manager? Third question mm -hmm. is what define MPO. And when it comes in five, five marks, you just have to write uh, very shortly. You can write uh, introduction, management by objective is uh, setting objective and uh, managing to achieve the objective. So uh, you can just skip, in terms of five marks, you can just skip MBO, evolution and need. So definition and concept, MBO process, and direct benefits and limitation. Just three. Introduction, definition and concept, benefits and limitation. For five okay, months. and one more thing. Uh, case, case studies bhi aati hai exam mein MTTM ke. Case studies like, wait, uh, uh, let me tell you. Case studies, uh, this doesn't come under MTTM. Okay. In okay. marketing paper, paper 9, you can write, but uh, or you can in MTTM 16 in dissertation, you can write. But case studies is basically related with your company management, like I'm running a company. So I will just motivate my team that how they will run the company. I will just have a board meeting and I will give them a case study that that company is not. Uh, getting uh, performance and our company should not be like them. So that is a case study. So that my managers should know how to run a, my company. 
okay okay but you can give examples of cases sir but cases as a no question comes from cases sir because there is no <coughs> chapter related to cases sir but case studies are given as examples hmm so as we're talking about case study i think you what case studies on you have what case studies right of companies right like what what was his name one famous uh, people just follow him on facebook youtube sandeep maheshwari right who is sandeep maheshwari sandeep mahesh uh, like Uh, abhinav vivek bindra no never heard of them okay okay so in youtube you will see see case studies but this case is that is apart from giving you example will not help you and this case study also will not gonna help you in mttm this if better watch my mttm videos this will only help you because i have uh, covered all the topics of most and oh and uh, um, you can see on youtube this uh, videos are uh, last classes which we are absent i have uploaded on youtube okay okay and remember for five bucks you have to just write the introduction mba process and benefits and limitation okay what is the mba okay. uh, management by objective and benefits and limitation for five bucks okay That's it. no basic concept Uh, so no, because five marks there, it will be like two hundred to uh two fifty words. One hundred, yes. So in that, you cannot even uh write two lines about all of them. Okay, mm-hmm. you cannot even explain all of them. If you write all of the things, you have to explain them. So just write the introduction and one of anything. Ensuring successful implementation, but benefits and limitation. Okay, introduction, benefits and limitation. If you do it, you get five marks. For ten marks, you can write introduction and one words of each, and it's done. You get ten marks. For twenty marks, you have to just <coughs> uh, for introduction, you have to just explain it. What is necessary? The objective, evolution and need. So evolution and need. There are some writers, as you have seen. Mm. You said certain names of writer, definition and concepts. Also, you can say what are the concepts like uh, five concepts, right? There were five right. concepts. Right. Yes. And for uh, uh, MBO processes, also there are three processes, right? And successful, ensuring successful impl- implementation. So. Always don't you have to write even for ten twenty marks also you don't have to write long like two pages three pages you can finish this in one pages with both sides okay? okay but if you write the all the these points but you have to be up to the point then you will get twenty marks if you get if you write up to the point because you know in in igno uh, master degree there what limitation in your Theory examples, like you have to write in limited words, and that's why you know they don't give you extra sheet. They will give you okay. one sheet only, and on mm-hmm. on that answer sheet only you have to write that your whole paper. MTK they will one. not give us extra sheet. No. Okay. Strange. You didn't. Uh, this is your first time, right? You need to. Yeah, it's my first time. And remember, I have done. Other courses in other universities, like master's degree. This is not MTM is not the only master's degree I have done. So okay. my uh, uh, my experience is that in Igno they are very kind and they give marks than any other universities has, are giving. Because in Igno I was writing up to the point, so I got the marks. But in other universities, one time I wrote according the point, and they just gave me the pass mark, only the pass mark. I expected because I was only writing up to the point, not any imagination. So mm. I was correct, and I again gave them a recheck. Then they just increased my marks by twenty marks. 
मैंने एक्चुअली बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स से सुना कि इग्नो मतलब पास नहीं करता एंड इग्नो मार्क्स अच्छे नहीं देता मतलब मोर देन फाइव और सिक्स स्टूडेंट्स मतलब मुझे सुना है ऐसा तो इसलिए आई वाज लाइक बिट स्केयर्ड ऑफ इट कि कैसे कैसे आंसर्स लेट मी टेल यू आई कैन गेस दैट दे आर ओन मार्क्स आर नॉट गुड दे आर नॉट गेटिंग मार्क्स सो टेल देम दैट इफ यू गो टू अदर यूनिवर्सिटीज यू विल नो व्हाट इज राइटिंग इज राइट एंड यू हैव टू not only study igno is giving you the book igno only wants to you to write the answer from this book only but if you in other universities they will not give you book and you have to quote other books also like the definition and the answer from which book you are uh, taking the idea you have to quote them then you will get 80 to 90% which is nearly very hard i tell you very hard but in igno if you study at home and yeah, my videos are there to help you this classes is also there to help you and by the book if you go then you will get good result it your atf of and i am there always my videos are also there if you don't understand but i think that if you study at home you can get above it right Means by the way any idea when will the exams starts uh they will give after june june 30 maybe they will uh, announce on june 30 hmm. so uh, and very one less, more thing very less time we have yes exactly but don't worry uh, uh how many papers you are giving mttm 1 to mttm 4 Okay, so uh, MTTM four is quite easy. I will tell you, it's quite easy. Information management, right? Information systems yes. and management. Yes, it is like this computer, and there is also MIS is there, management mm. information system. Okay, so uh, if you one or two common from MTTM one will be coming, so that's why I am just completing MTTM one very fast. Yeah. So unit seven is uh, complete, and for the uh, other units, past units, you can uh, view my YouTube channel. I I have uploaded it on my YouTube channel. So it is sure. my name, Vishkas Laskar. So uh, you can see it on my YouTube channel, and you can also subscribe. Hi, uh, yeah, sure. So you will you will get a uh, bell notification. Sure. Thank you. Thank you for the class. Okay. Thank you. Welcome, and I will see you in the next class. I hope. Sure. Okay. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night.